So for Amendment 5, which is the homestead exemption, inflation adjustment, the only thing I know about the homestead is that literally like the home tax credit, whatever the case may be, because I'm like homestead exemption, inflation adjustment. I'm not certain, but the ballot verbiage says that it's proposing an amendment to the state constitution to require an annual adjustment for inflation to the value of current or future homestead exemptions that apply solely to levies other than school district levies and for which every person who has legal or equitable title to real estate and maintains therein the permanent residence of the owner or another person legally or naturally dependent upon the owner is eligible this amendment takes effect january 1st 2025 I don't know what that means, but it sounds real good. I was doing a lot of word calling. That's why I'm like, let's get to the good stuff. Let's see what that really means. Because this is proposed by the Florida State Legislature. And a vote yes for this amendment is adding an inflation adjustment to the current homestead tax adjustment. There are two 25,000 exemptions available to property owners who can reduce 50,000 off of the taxable value of their home reduce 50,000 off of the taxable value of their home. That sounds good. This measure would create an inflation adjustment for the second of those two 25,000 homestead exemptions, which does not affect taxes that pay for schools. Okay. Under the measure, assessments would be indexed to the percentage change in the consumer price index. For example, if the rate of inflation is 8%, it would increase the value of the exemption from 25000 to 27000 which makes sense because if it's inflated, inflated. Because, right, don't, right, don't not only make the inflation beneficial for you. So, yeah, I, okay. A vote no to this amendment suppresses, I'm sorry, supports keeping the current homestead tax exemption regardless of inflation. This means that taxes will automatically rise as property value rise with inflation without local officials having to cast a vote to increase taxes. And that does not sound good. Again, I'm not really certain what they're saying, but from what I do understand, that does not sound good. So yeah, because from what we understand here, if inflation is increasing, so should the exemption like the exemption should not just be at twenty five thousand, but inflation happens so from this part that makes sense this this very for the for example is what made it make sense and then this no why would it rise just this property value rise with inflation without local officials having to cast a vote to do this pros while property values continue to rise or i'm sorry increase <laughs> and homeowners pay more in property taxes supporters argue that this measure will give homeowners relief on their taxes by adjusting for inflation exactly because if you're not gonna do it on the front end at least do it on the back end that's why i'm like it has to be beneficial for for the people along the way if the inflation is going to be beneficial for the nation so the cons is the opponents of this measure highlight its negative impact on tax revenues for local governments. By adding an inflation adjustment to the homestead exemption, automatic tax increases will no longer occur. As a result, local governments will face decreased tax revenues and less local officials, raise, and less local officials vote to raise taxes. Well, that's what it's going to have to be. If they feel like y'all didn't decrease in tax revenues and y'all may need some additional funding or something like that, then we'll have to see. So, yeah, oh, yeah, I may not understand, but I understand what I do understand. All right, so the constitutional merit is that this measure is not a reform that can be addressed by the state legislator and thus requires a constitutional ballot initiative in order to be implemented. So I think this is the first one that cannot just be addressed by the state. It does require a constitutional ballot. And everybody's so worried about the war on wombs, which is literally just in the hands of the state and not in the hands of the constitutional wow that's crazy that's why it's like the more you know and that's why i'm so glad that we're here to get this information because i just i cannot believe yeah they really try to get us because wow hmm that is good to know 
Good to know. So in sum, the current homestead tax exemption structure for primary residents is not adjusted for inflation. Exactly. And that's not fair because it's sky the freak high. So at this point, yeah, make it right. Definitely make it right. And it says an inflation adjustment would eliminate automatic tax increases going towards local governments and would require local officials to vote to increase taxes going forward, which I see no problem with at all. It seems like that's what makes sense. So again, we are five out of six on the yes list. Five out of six on the yes list.